So apparently I haven't been in this place. And that's where Keezer is. Which is kind of interesting because I actually did go through this place um, on my practice run. I don't know how I missed it this time. Anyways, uh, these pipes here will uh, spawn certain enemies. Can't actually do anything through there. But there should be another bee over here. This way. Okay. That allows us to turn into the bat. Be a little more mobile in the air. Which will allow us to get through here. And down into here, where we can get our keyser. You know, I, I don't think I've said this in the... I think I may have said this in the video that I lost. But this song... I don't know about you, this song totally reminds me of Dancing Queen. Yep. Hey, it's Coolio if you don't know. Welcome back to Let's Play Wario Land 4. As we come back out of um, Arabian, whatchamacallit, once again earning our gold crown, but earning something far more important, which is Keezer. That allows access to the third level of the Sapphire Passage. Fiery Cavern. This one has an interesting mechanic to it, but we'll get to it. Uh, when it comes up. So, as the title suggests, this is a cavern. It's quite fiery. Lots of lava and stuff going on around here. Yikes! Speaking of lava, I almost fell into it because I wasn't paying attention. Always be vigilant, especially when lava is about. Okay, let's get to our first bonus, shall we? That's kind of an interesting bonus, too. Where we pretty much have to go all the way up like this. And actually, if you miss your target, it is possible to um, loop vertically around the uh, around the room. However, I did it right the first time, so we won't have to demonstrate that. If you really want to test that uh, that theory, you're gonna have to play the game by yourself. Yikes! This, uh, this level is going to be considerably more perilous than, uh, than most. Especially when we're dealing with um, trying to descend platforms on top of a uh, flame geyser. We're not even safe from, from flame geysers. Lava geysers, whatever you want to call them, in the bonus area. <laughs> and so hitting that will allow us to cross over here. But we need to hit the switch again, which is done by hitting that particular one over there, which will allow us to get our num nums. Y 
Yeesh. Hi. How are you doing? I think you're dead now. I can't 100% verify that. But, um... You did get squished by my butt. So I'm pretty sure... Well, at least I... At the very least, I feel like I missed something over here. Not really sure how to get that diamond, but maybe a solution will present itself later on. Hmm. Okay, maybe I didn't miss anything. Okay, my bad. And over here. Making our way back to the forward. sure that I haven't missed anything uh, backward. Let's go see what there is over here. <laughs> this is gonna be an interesting jump. to make it the first try, and it got us a segment of uh, the uh, keystone. Hmm. Definitely looks like there's something below here, though. Well, maybe not. Maybe I just risked my, uh, my butt here for nothing. Oh well. I wonder if there's anything to these markings. Probably not. I am lucky I didn't get hit by that. Like, seriously. Eek! Because it is... Either it's easy to get hit by those, or I'm just doing a very poor job at avoiding them. Carefully make it down here. And here's where the level gets interesting. We've got four minutes and the entire cave has frozen over. So we're dealing with pretty much the same level, except that um, it's no longer a fiery cavern so much. I really can't help but feel like I've missed something. Let's see if there's anything over here. There is! But yeah, it definitely feels like I should have gotten more than just one uh, jewel segment before um, hitting the frog switch. Uh. At least these guys can't damage us anymore, per se. They can, however, cause us to um, lose some time. We don't have a whole lot of it. it. Might seem like we do, but we do have a fair ways to go in order to get back to the start of the level. Really can't get through that? I 
guess not. Whee! Okay. And now you can see that, um, now that the flame lava geysers have uh, frozen over, we can, um, make it through, uh, different parts of the level. Okay, and that will require a supercharge. Yeah, definitely feel like I'm missing something. There's got to be something there. Just not sure how to get to it. Mm. Can't supercharge through it, so I don't know. We got to get moving, though. This is probably going to require a second run through the level because I feel like I've missed a substantial amount of stuff before hitting the frog switch. And we've only got a minute left. Yikes. What's down here? Time for that. Really don't have time for that. Okay, that'll work. Oh, we got the CD at least. But now we still need to get out of the level if we want to keep it. And we've only got 25 seconds to do that. Oh, come on! Tell you one thing, we're not gonna make our money quota here. Yep, forget it, let's go. Let's at least lock in what we've got so far. Which is probably one of the poorest performances so far in this LP. Um, yeah, before we come back to that level, I'm gonna do Hotel Horror. This level should not be quite as terrible. It's not as hard to, um, make your way across here. First things first, we're going to clear out this first floor here. So pretty much how it works is that um, there are four floors. Each floor has four rooms. You can see a map of, uh, of the floors uh, in certain places, like here. Come on. There we go. Okay, that'll get us our first segment. Off to 104, where we can go up, potentially. Oh, jeez. Hi. Uh, not dealing with your shenanigans. Shenanny goats. Like I'm gonna have to go down in order to uh, remedy this situation. Hmm. 
Yeah, let's go on the onto the second floor now. Well, looks like nothing really much interesting. However, there is a room that we can only reach um by hitting the frog switch, so... No! Ah, come on! And that's why zombie is annoying most of the time. At least by becoming a zombie, you can destroy things that turn you into them. That was so in previous Wario Land games, and it is so in Wario Land 4. floor as usual. Though we don't have to worry about these um, competitors. Yikes! Hmm. Looks like we're gonna have to 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 take a different approach to get that one. Yeah. If you look at the map here, it looks like we can get to that um, keystone fragment from uh, 403. I don't know if this is a path that I want to take. Okay. Uh, it allows us to um, come back up here, so it's not so bad. Yikes! Okay. And we're actually at full heart bits, too. Excellent. To the future. That seemed very forced. Hmm. Actually, can't open this. I thought you could open those um, as a bat, but I guess not. Well, more importantly, though, we did get the. Um, jewel segment. Now it's just a matter of figuring out how to get these guys into that water. Hmm, actually that might not be necessary. However, we're only going to get one try at this because... Because that guy ain't coming back. Yeah, because it drops money, it doesn't respawn, so we only get one proper try of that. Oh well! Yeah. Just gonna have to make our money another way. Through the murder of others, more than likely. Yeah. Uh, what's in here? 404. 404! I could never find this room. Uh, let's stop being fat for a moment here. Turn through 
red, so I can get a little more money out of you. We're gonna need to break that in order to access the frog switch, but we're not going for the frog switch just yet. There's still a couple of things we can do. Let's just come over here to 403. If we can drop down from the right place. Which wasn't there. our way back around. Back into 202. And back out of 402. Oops. And into 403. Things this time shall be different. I hit this. It'll give us a nice little diving board where we can fall directly onto the flame. That will turn us back into normal Wario so we can get our treasure. Now, oh, let's see. in here. Looks like it's a way outside. And into this bonus pipe. So if I'm not mistaken, these um, flashing areas will warp you back to the beginning. too far and despawned. It's alright though. Boop. Let's see if I can... There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to wait for you to come back up. And we get a diamond. But there's still a diamond down there. This is definitely, um... As far as I'm aware, this is the most lucrative um, bonus opportunity in the game. I'm gonna wait for you to feed us until we are bloated. And get a second diamond from this room. Let's see what's over here. Inside 401. I think I saw a Keezer. Yeah, there he is. Okay, now we gotta plan this right. I think I want to be facing left when I catch fire because I'm going to bump once, twice, and three times right here. Ah! Of course, uh, most status afflicting monsters will respawn. Not all of them, of course, but most of them. Uh, I was starting too close to the wall there. I had no time to react. There we go. The trick is you don't need to jump because it's just a one, uh, 
a one space gap. I believe... Hmm. Is there a room that I haven't been to yet? There should be a map in here, I think. I don't know. I know what we can do, though, is get zombified. Fall all the way down to the bottom. Ah, there is the last one. Thus leaving only the CD. And I'm pretty sure that the CD is um, in the room that's uh, locked away by the frog switch. how to get up there. Uh, 302? Yeah, because we gotta go around here. That's right. That's right. are no longer a bat because bats are not allowed to enter through passage doorways. So now, I'm gonna bump you so that I can pick you up eventually. Take you up here. Or you shall feed us. Perhaps feed us a bit too much. shall become Americans. What? Anyway, hit the frog switch. We got three and a quarter minutes to get the CD and get out of here. Um, let's see, what would be the best way? I think if we go around this way here, then we can go through 304. And this could potentially work. Then 203, I believe, was one of the rooms that was locked. have to not become a zombie. I'm pretty sure that um, 102 is just an exit room. And now if we become a zombie, we'll be able to get the CD. Why is there so much lag? Ow. Quit defacing up my face. There we go. Now I'll get us out of here. With all of the things! Isn't that exciting? One, a two, a three, a four, a CD, and the gold crown. Alright, so we are left with only one level to uh, go back and deal with. First, let's put the keystone that we did find into the door. And we've unlocked the path to the boss door, which is Catbat, but we can't get to the boss just yet. Still got a bit of uh, searching around to do in Fiery Cavern. We've missed two of the, um, of the uh, jewel segments. We've also missed the gold crown. So, um, I'm going to go find those, and I'll get right back to ya.
Alright, so pretty much where I thought I was missing a lot of stuff um, before the frog switch. Turns out I was wrong. You're only supposed to be able to get one single uh, jewel fragment before hitting the frog switch. So now we're going to go at this a little more methodically. I've, um... Uh, so much for methodically. Of course, now that I'm recording, now I'm wasting a whole bunch of time and energy. LP curse, after all. So, I didn't go into this door last time. And that was a shame. Because if we go down here, we'll find our third um, jewel fragment. And there's also a diamond over here. Because we're not only trying to get um, our uh, keystone here, we're also trying to get enough money to get our gold crown. And that's pretty much part of this LP is I am trying to get all, uh, all of the gold crowns. Um, I think the Hall of Hieroglyphs is not counted in this goal. So I'm not too worried about that. Will you get out of my way, you stupid yeti? Okay. Okay, well, so much for uh, any chance that I had of... Oh, never mind that. So much for any chance that I had of having uh, full heart bits again. But we're not going to worry about that. Um, if I do things right, I should be able to get up to um, 10,000 this time. And I got that last time. Okay, now the proper way of getting the CD is to take this guy, bring him down here, and then let him launch you over there. So now we're not wasting a whole bunch of time trying to get past that guy. You can also bounce on top of this Yeti and get the diamond up there. So now we have our money. But we still need our last jewel fragment to complete our keystone. And there's a lot of lag on my computer right now, it's not helping. Now we saw it last time, we just uh, didn't have time to get to it. It's just the fact of going around on top here. And uh, that unlocks our last jewel fragment. Into the exit vortex we go. And now we have completed the whole thing. So that was the last CD that we needed to get, the last jewels, uh, the last keystone that we needed to get. Um, now we need to deal with this last boss. Hmm. Catbat is its name. And before I do this, um, I'm just going to take a quick moment here. Just one moment. Okay. I think it's time to fight us a boss. So, Cat Bat. Cat Bat, the Bat Bat Cat. Cat, the Bat Bat Cat Bat Bat the Cat. 
Now that I'm done being other LPRs, it's time for me to be myself. That's pretty easy. This is going to um, launch wave after wave of well, waves at us. And we are going to use those waves to um, hit the um, thing on its head, I guess. The component on its head. As you've seen, if we get hit by any of the uh, eyeballs that Catbat spits out, it'll cause us to float up to uh, the top of the screen. There's no damage up there, so there's no worries there. Alright, so now that um, the thing on its head has been dismissed, now it's spitting red eyeballs out, which I don't remember what they what they do, and frankly don't care to find out. So now instead of charging the thing on its head, we have to pound its head. good to give it a charge in the face on occasion just to um, keep it on its side. And just like that, Cat Bat is history. So we get our three treasure boxes, we get our uh, golden bracelets encrusted with jewels. And those go into the pyramid in the middle, where all four of the um, of the lights have been activated. And so the f pyramid finishes to emerge, opening up one final passage: the golden pyramid. So um, I'm actually going to stop the video here, and next time on Let's Play Wario Land 4, we're going to finish things up. We're going to go through the Golden Passage, and then fight ourselves the final boss. I'm Coolio if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.